Hello. Good night, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you doing? Good? Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, Hi, Jocelyn. Hello. Hi, Nelly. Good evening. Good evening. How was the weekend? Hello, teacher. Hi, Samuel. How was the weekend, people? Good? Nice? Great? So, so, more or less? Very good. Good evening. Very very yeah. good. It's very good. Okay. Hello. Good evening. Good. Okay. Sounds nice. Okay. Okay. We're going to check sound. What's today, teacher? Uh, today's date. The date today. Yo, yo, yo digo que le digo cómo está su, cómo estuvo su ah, día. How was okay, good. How was how was your day? Ah, ahí está how la pronunciación. Was, how, how was, was today? Your day. Ah, your day. Y ve, your siempre day. me como las palabras, teacher. ¿Cómo hago para no comer? Vi que estoy pechito, pero no con las palabras no voy a engordar. Se me antes, hombre, la clase. <risa> no, es práctica, es pura práctica. O sea, ya ve que poco a poco va a ir recordándolas, pero es repetirlo. Eso es a base de... El inglés es pura práctica. O sea, uno aprende algo así como se repite y se repite hasta que se acostumbra uno a usarlo. What's your... Uh, for example, what's your... How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su trabajo? How was your work? Eh, ¿Cómo estuvo la fiesta? How was the party? Ok, solo pone how was the party. Entonces, how was es como estuvo. Y ahí lo que usted quiera. How was your day? How was eh, the party? How was the game? ¿Cómo estuvo el juego? How was the movie? ¿Cómo estuvo la película? Eh, how was the conversation? ¿Cómo estuvo la plática? Y ahí le va poniendo lo que, lo que usted desea. Right? So that's the. Lo importante es aprenderse la base de, la, de lo que uno quiere y luego irle cambiando palabritas. Eso se llama parafrasear. Ok. Yes, teacher. Thank no you. Problem. Pero sí, lo de eso de que si mire, que se me olvida, no se preocupe, que es parte del aprendizaje, right? O sea, lo importante es también decirlo para que se pueda, digamos, como ir corrigiendo uno mismo o o que le ayuden a uno a correr. Good. Okay, what do we have for today? Today we're going to practice the time. Okay. By the end of this class, we will be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Okay. Additionally, you will practice a conversation uh, between some people, right? between two people and different time zones. All right. But then we have in the next step, a video. Okay, and what time is it? In this moment, what time is it? What, what time, time is it? What time is it? It's... It's uh -huh. eight. 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 Four. Eight. Four. Uh -huh. Yes. Eight. Four. Okay. Or you can also say four past eight. Okay. Eight. Okay. Eight. The hour. Eight. Or, or four. Eight. Four. Mm -hmm. Eight. All four. Okay. In a digital watch. Digital watch, you're going to say 8.04. That's the time. 
Okay, let's listen to the conversation. Okay, and then we're going to scan this one, make it larger, and now listen. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Let's get started by listening to a short audio program to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, London, Casablanca, Cape Town, Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Now let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now it's your time to practice the conversation that we just heard. And also, I would like for you to answer the following questions in our discussion forums. By looking at the map, which cities are in the same time zone? Which cities are in your time zone? Moscow. Okay. By listening to it in international time zones. Additionally, you will start by listening to a short audio program. Okay, remember these are just for the pronunciation of the of the cities and countries, right? For example, I have Vancouver in Canada, Los Angeles in California, Mexico City in Mexico, Lima in Peru, Sao Paulo in Brazil, Brasilia in Brazil, San Juan, right? Uh, Puerto Rico, New York City, the United States, Montreal is also in Canada. Then you have London, England, Warsaw, Warsaw is in, uh, what is this? Polish country, right? Casablanca, then it's Africa, then you have, and Bangkok, and that's it, right? So these are the different ones. To practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver. Okay, now, con sus micrófonos apagados, pueden repetir en casa. Okay, Vancouver, yo lo voy a ir pausando. Los Angeles. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver. Okay, Vancouver. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Mexico City. Mexico City. Lima. Lima. Montreal. Montreal. Okay, Montreal. New York City. New York City. New York City. San Juan. San Juan. Brasilia. 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 Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. London. Okay. London. 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 Casablanca. Casablanca. Cape Town. Cape Town. Warsaw. Warsaw. Varsovia, right? Warsaw. Moscow. Moscow. 
Okay, this is Russia. Riyadh. Then we have Riyadh. Seoul. Seoul. Bangkok. Bangkok. Tokyo. Tokyo. Sydney. Sydney. Now let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of Seoul. Okay, now see for example that the this is the center, zero. Okay, then a la izquierda to the left, el, son los países occidentales, right? And a la derecha están los orientales. Okay, so de aquí a este punto cero, right? Hay menos uno, menos dos, menos tres, menos cuatro, menos cinco, menos seis, right? No sé, son las horas que van hacia atrás, right? And then, y aquí se van aumentando las horas, right? And, pero es que cuando llegamos a Japón, nosotros estamos aquí, más o menos aquí. En la hora de Lima, estamos como menos seis. Entonces, seis horas más doce, por aquí, más diez, más o menos, son como dieciséis horas de diferencia con Japón. Pero es que ellos siempre tienen, llegan al siguiente año antes que nosotros, right? Esas son las diferencias de las horas. Ok. Bangkok. Tokyo. Sydney. Now let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello? Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes. 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now it's your time to practice the conversation that we just... Oh, right. What? Okay. Now, questions about the vocabulary? Preguntas sobre el vocabulario? No, no problem. Okay, then. Wait a minute, I want to share with you the, we're going to move to the, um, uh, to practice. Now I need to, to share with you the conversation, okay? In the, in the groups that we're going to create a group. Okay, and then we're going to read it, okay, and practice. But first, I need to what happen with the WhatsApp is not working. Okay, that's one word. Okay, then uh, we're going to read the conversation again. It, remember it says, hello, hi, Debbie, this is Jan. I'm calling from Australia. Australia, I am at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right, what time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes. Four o'clock in the morning, 4 a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry, baby. That's okay. I'm awake now. Okay. 
So this is the practice that you're going to do. You're going to practice the conversation and I'm going to give you, let's see, about five minutes to practice. Now, let me check how we, group section. Okay, here we go. Okay, primero practica uno la conversación y luego le hacen el swap. Okay, pueden practicar dos, tres veces. La idea es practicar pronunciación y la, y, y digamos, y el hilo, okay, de la, de la conversación. Okay. Por aquí ando buscando okay. cómo vamos a hacer para, para este, practicar. Ok, uh, ya les envié la conversación al WhatsApp para que la tengan. Ok, y ahí se van tomando turnos. Ok, a uh, ver. Si no, pues la pueden ver en la plataforma y como ustedes les salga más fácil. Eh, por ejemplo, tienen Debbie y John. Por ejemplo, puede ser Nelly, usted puede hacer Debbie yes, y Reina hace la parte de John. Luego Reina puede hacer la parte de Debbie. Ok. Y Sam, ¿no problema con hacer la parte de John? Este, bueno, okay. con un par de ejemplos en, en listening, en, creo que... Lo que pasa es que... En... Quiero ver si para escucharlo, no creo que pueda. Pero, bueno, si las escuchan a ellas, para que más o menos, ah, ah. ¿cómo lo van siguiendo? Por, por eso le decía Ajá. yo que sí, sí. escuchándolos a ellas, ya después. Exacto. Uh -huh. Entonces, Nelly, usted hace la parte de Debbie y Reina la de John, luego cambian. Ok, eh, Reina, usted hace la parte de Debbie y Nelly hace la de John. Luego podemos volverlo a hacer y ya este, luego hace un, una práctica cada una con Samuel, cambiando los nombres. Okay. 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 Bueno, perfect. Los dejo y luego Reina. Okay. okay. Reina. Empiezo. Hello. Hello. Okay, in Los Angeles, right? Yes. For a close in morning. For Oh, I am really sorry. Thank you. I now. Okay, are you ready? Ready. Okay, fine. Oh, well, so, so you, you are only two in this group, so then you can uh, sample practice. They see you can be Debbie. Brandon, you are John, y luego hacen el cambio, right? Para que puedan practicar todo el diálogo. Y pueden hacer una o dos veces en lo que doy la, la ronda eh, y luego salimos, ¿ok? Good. Go ahead.
¿Cómo sería Está. la quiste de Nay? Se me olvidó. Ahorita no. va donde, donde está John, sería It's 10 o'clock. Ah, o'clock. And it's 4 o'clock. 3 is low and, and it's right. Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 o'clock, Amy. Oh, yeah, I'm really sorry. That's okay. And awake now. Mm -hmm. Bien, démosle, Ivani. ¿Quién quiere ser usted ahora? Hola. Hoy voy con Ivani. ¿Quién, quién, quién, quiere ser, ah. ¿Quién quiere ser usted, Ivani? Hola, hola, Ivani. Hola, hola, Ivania, ¿me escucha? Hola, hola, sí, tengo problemas con el Inter, se me va. Ah, de acuerdo. Vaya, este, regresé, ¿quién? Inter... regresé. Va, chivo. ¿Quién quiere ser usted? Eh... Dave. Va, otra vez, no quiere cambiar. Ok, cambiamos. Vaya. Hello. Hi, Dave. This is John. I am Clock in the morning. Oh. Right. Right. Oh. Se nos acabó el tiempo. Se nos acabó. Now. Now it's your turn. 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 Entonces ahora sería yo la segunda. Ajá. Vaya. Hello. Hi. David. David. This John is, call, is calling from Australia. 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 Yeah. I am conferencia en single. Remember, remember. Oh, right. What team is in there? It's nine. I am, I am is for cloth to Los Angeles Rain. Yes, for cloth. In the morning. For and um, of in right. I'm sorry. Thank you. Of young. Okay, no. Okay, no. Okay, no. I'm. I'm. <laughs> I'm awake now. I'm, I'm awake. I'm awake. No. Awake. I'm awake. No. Uh -huh. I'm awake. I'm awake. I am now. I am no. La primera, I'm awake now. I'm awake no. now. Okay, that's no. good. Okay, fine. Excellent. <laughs> All right, good. <laughs> Uh, practicing very nice okay and then we have oh. okay yeah okay. done finish hi jenny hello blanca hi teacher okay hi teacher finish Ya terminaron, ya. No problem. No hay preguntas. Okay, mm. good.
Vamos a ver, Jenny, usted va a ser Debbie en... Can you read the other part, please, Blanca? And repeat, please, teacher. Jenny, you are Debbie. And Blanca, you are John. Yes. Okay. Vamos a ver, léalo. Eh, permítame, teacher. No problem. Me salí. <laughs> Okay, uh, are you ready, Blanca? Hi, Debbie. It's from yeah, California from Australia. Australia? Yeah. I'm going for incending. Remember. All right. What time is it there? Is there? It is 10 p.m. PM. Yeah. Yeah. And it's? In, and it's for long. There. There in Los, Los Angeles. Angeles. Okay. Mm. ¿Dónde vamos? Yes. Ay, me perdí. Eh, yes, four o'clock. Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Um, oh, yeah, really, sorry. That's okay. I am awake now. I'm awake now. I'm I awake, now. awake now. Okay. Okay, good. Nice. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. Now let's go back to the main station. Okay, I'll see you there. Okay, here we are again. Okay, good. Okay, so then um, I'm going to read it again, just for the pronunciation, right? That we have, remember this is when you say hello, when he Debbie is uh, in Los Angeles, right? And John is in Sydney. Then says, hello, hi Debbie, this is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia, I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right, what time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay, I'm awake now. Okay, so the man made a mistake, okay? Pequeño error de, de 12 horas, pensando que eran las 4 de la tarde y habló a las 4 de la mañana. And then at the end she says, I'm awake, ya estoy despierta, ahora. Okay, so then that's the, this is, that's okay, I'm awake, I'm awake now, I'm awake. ¿Qué significa eso en español, teacher? Significa, así como usted está ahorita, despierta. Estoy despierta. <laughs> Bien. Me estoy haciendo la despierta. Ah, bueno. <laughs> Entonces dice, I am playing awake. O sea, me estoy haciendo la despierta. I am playing awake. Ah, estoy jugando así. Estoy despierta. No. Teacher. Okay. Yes, Samuel. Uh, uh, I am playing awake. Uh, o uh -huh. sea que ese, eso, eso es un verbo. Playing. Sí, sí. Es una, eh, eh, porque es una frase. he escuchado en, en juegos. En... Sí, es una frase idiomática que se puede decir como para decir, va, ah, me estoy haciendo, estoy jugando a dormir, no pues sí, despierto. Entonces, ajá, porque... pero ajá, sería I'm playing awake. Lo he, lo he visto también en, en, en reproducir, playing. 
Uh -huh. That's correct. Yes. Okay. Another meaning. Mm -hmm. That's correct, Samuel. Good. Yeah. Okay, people. Then this is, for example, the introduction, right? Now we're going to go to the practice. Now it says, by the end of this class, you'll be able to ask questions using time expressions. Time expressions and practice given the time. Given the time. Here we go. What time is it? Now look at it. It's two o'clock. It's two o'clock. Mm -hmm. Now we are going to practice how to tell the time. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer questions using time expressions. Let's get started by looking at some clocks which are expressing the time. Let's listen and repeat. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. Now, what we want to do is make our own examples by changing the time on those clocks. I'm going to change the time for each and express a different time. Let's do it. Instead of one o'clock, we will say two. Notice that the only thing that we will change is the number for now. It's two o'clock. For our uh, next example, it's 2.05. After that, it's 2.15. Then it's 2.30 or it's half past two. Next, it's 2.40 or it's 20 to three. Our last example, it's a quarter to three or it's 2.45. I would like for you to express the time now. I will give you the numbers and you should write the time. Now I would like to go over some time expressions. Let's listen and repeat. In the morning, a.m. In the morning. Noon, p.m. In the afternoon, p.m. In the evening, p.m. At night, p.m. Midnight, a.m. Let's uh, practice these time expressions now. Let's listen and repeat. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. In this class, we've covered how to express the time in different ways. It's important that you learn all those different ways to express the time. What I would like for you to do now is to practice expressing the time in different ways. I'll write the expressions and you should work on expressing the time in a different way. For example, it's nine o'clock in the evening. Another way to express this is by saying it's 9 p.m. Now I would like for you to change these expressions in a different way. It's eight o'clock in the morning. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 3 in the afternoon. It's 3 a.m. It's 6 p.m. It's 4 p.m. It's 12 p.m. Hi, everyone. In this class, time expressions. Let's get started by looking at some clocks, which are. OK, so there you can see the time. Okay, expressed in different ways, right? For example, it's one o'clock. Okay, it's one and zero zero, right? It's one o five. Okay, this is usually for digital, digital watches, right? Digital. This is analog, analog, right? Then 
you know, this, this is digital. Digital analog. Then you can say it's five after one. It's five after one. It's five after one. So this is, and you can say it's one fifteen. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. Okay, quarter, no quarter, ¿verdad? quarter. Okay, de aquí viene la cora, mire lo que decimos nosotros, denme una cora, dos coras. Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. The pronunciation original is quarter. Quarter. Uh -huh. Quarter. Okay, la, bueno, la británica es quarter. Aquí en uh -huh. América se dice quarter. Okay. Quarter. Ajá, uh -huh. y los morenitos en inglés dicen quarter. Okay. 25 cents. Ajá, uh -huh. 25 cents. Y aquí en Latinoamérica ya le decimos cora. And then say quarter. <laughs> Teacher, pero ahí dice quarter. No se escucha, teacher. Me escuchamos, teacher. No, normal, teacher. ¿Y ahora sí? Yes. Yes, yes, teacher. Ok. okay. Que no me paguen. Ustedes algo me, algo me están haciendo ahí. Alguien me está hackeando. Samuel, a ese. Pero anyway. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, oh yeah. Samuel is a hacker that we have in class. Okay, good. So then we have, it's, look at this one. It's a quarter after one. Okay, it's a quarter. And then, yes. It's a quarter. Yes. Okay. And then you have here, for example, it's a quarter after one. It's, okay, un cuarto después de la uno o la un y cuarto. Y acá en este verde dice, it's 22. 20 para la dos, right? It's 22 to 22. 22. Hasta hoy entiendo, teacher, ¿qué significa quarter? Es quarter un cuarto de dólar. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Exacto, ese es un cuarto de dólar. Porque dice dos cuartos, que era el, el tostón nuestro. 50 centavos. Okay, 50 cents. Uh -huh. It's a quarter. Y aquí dice, it's a quarter to two. It's a quarter, un cuarto para la dos. Cuando se ocupa el two, el tío, es para y el after es después de. ¿Ok? ¿The problem? ¿Preguntas? Okay. Háganlas ahora o cállenlo para siempre. Ah, parece boda, right? <laughs> Eso que lo, que lo que dijo de último, ¿cómo, ¿cómo es la situación? No entendí muy bien. El después de y el two, two. Ah, two es para. Ok, a quarter to two. It's a quarter to two. It's a quarter to three. Un cuarto para las tres. It's a quarter es que, es que to yo four. Entendía, yo entendía que era lo mismo, two, two. No, decía, two, que era, two. Ajá, yo pensé, yo pensé que para decía dos, dos. dos. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre esas dos palabras? Two, two, porque yo las digo casi igual. Una doble, una doble B cuando le escribe. Y pero no, yo digo en pronunciación. No, no es la diferencia. Two, two. Uh, ok, yeah. thank Sounds you. Similar. Ese es el, también el contexto, ¿no? Que no es decir two, two, o sea, two, two, para, para. Ok, o dos, dos. It's a quarter, dos, dos. No, it's a quarter, two, two. Entonces el contexto ayuda a diferenciar. Yes, uh, Oscar. Este, por, quiero hacer un ejemplo. Si yo tengo las 12.45 y yo quiero aplicar este ejemplo, sería It's a quarter before one. Eh, casi. No. Casi, casi. ¿Cómo sería? It's a quarter. It's a quarter before one. ¿A dónde? 
Ah, you say before. Ajá, este, si yo digo las 12.45, o sea, it's a quarter to one. It's a quarter to one. To one. Ajá, o it's a quarter, eh, you can say, o it's 12.45. Ah, ok, el before nos ocuparía. It's a quarter to one, o it's uh, 12.45. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, can we let me say after two, past, and two? Now, these are the most common ones. Mm -hmm. Todo lo más comunes. Yes. Okay. Next one. Let's listen. It's 105. It's 115. It's a quarter after. It's 20 to 2. It's 145. It's a quarter to two. I say it's a quarter to two. So no hay diferencia, right? It's a quarter to two. Teacher. What we want to do is make our own examples by changing the time on those clocks. I'm going to change the time for each and express the change is the number for now. It's two o'clock. For our uh, next example, 20 to three. Our last example. It's. Okay. Then this is a little bit different. Then you have it's two o'clock. Okay, vea, esto lo cambio por este. It's two o'clock, it's three o'clock, it's four o'clock, it's five o'clock, it's six o'clock, it's seven o'clock, it's eight o'clock, it's nine o'clock, it's ten o'clock, it's eleven o'clock. Okay, this is the, the time, right, that we use para las horas en punto, right? And let me see if I have something in the chat. Okay. Then, uh, then the other one we have is it's 2.05. Okay, it's 3.05. It's 3.06. It's 3.07. It's de la, digamos que del 1 al 9. If you can say it's 2.01. It's 2.02. It's 2.03. It's 2.04. It's 205, it's 206, it's 207, it's 208, it's 209, it's 210. Yeah, yeah, and it says 210, right? It's 211, 212. Okay. And the other one is 215. Okay, it's 315, depending on the time. It's 230. So la right? 230. Or it's half past two, dos y media. O traducido literalmente sería, it's half past two, media pasada de las dos. Pero no lo decimos así en español, sino que para interpretarlo diríamos son las dos y media, half. Que okay, half es mitad media. It's 2.40. It's 20 to 3. Las 2 y 40 o 20 a las 3. It's 2.40, it's 20 to 3. It's a quarter to 3. Son cuarto para las 3. O it's 2.45. O son las 2.45. Las 4.45. Las 2.45. Este es el ejemplo parecido al suyo. Carmen. It's a quarter to 3. Ah, uh, la o la 12:45, 12:45, para tres. A quarter to three. Okay, preguntas antes de pasar al siguiente. It's a en las horas que son exactas, por ejemplo, las dos en punto, siempre se le tiene que poner eh, o'clock. Ajá, pero la coma, no, no, un, no se llama ajá, coma. Es un apóstrofe, así se eh, llama. El apóstrofe, ajá, siempre se le tiene que poner. Sí, porque esa es una contracción que sería, y es, una, es una frase bien cómica al traducirla, porque sería, it's two on the clock, que significa, son las dos en el reloj. Entonces, sería así, ya Pondría it's ahí está el apóstrofe it's two 
Cuatro letras. It's two on the clock. Entonces, lo que se está abreviando, por así decirlo, it's It's two. Y viene la O. Viene el apóstrofe y viene el clock. Y sería son las Se dos. abrevia el T. Uh -huh. de clock. O sea que esta parte de acá. Uh -huh. La N y el DA. Son las que desaparecen con el apóstrofe. Ah, ok. Pero Thank nadie you, lo, lo utiliza así, ¿verdad? No es que la que se utiliza es siempre. Pero, pero eso solo se ocupa en las exactas, en las horas exactas, Exacto. ¿verdad? Es correcto. Uh -huh. Gracias. Ok. So it's two o'clock, it's three o'clock, it's four o'clock. Ok, perfect. O sea else? que o'clock, teacher, o sea que o'clock significa en punto. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. Good. No more questions? Sam? Okay, everything? No, teacher, for the moment. Okay, perfect. Good. Then let's continue. Vamos a la siguiente parte del video que decía. A quarter to three, or it's 2.45. I would like for you to express the time now. I will give you the numbers and you... Okay, for example, here, ¿cuál sería la hora en el primero? 3.00. It is 3 o'clock. Uh -huh, it is 3 o'clock. Okay, it's 3 o'clock. La segunda? 3.05. It is 3.05. Three... Mm -hmm. It's 3.05, correct. 3.05. La tercera. It's three. La tercera. It is three fifty fifteen. Fifteen. Three, three fifteen. Three uh -huh. It is three fifteen. Three house. Oh, three it's. House. A quarter after three, okay, a quarter after three, a quarter past three. La cuarta? Half four. Uh-huh. Three, uh, fourteen. Eh, la cuarta? Three, um, it is three, thirty. 3.30, yes. 3.30 or half past three, yes. La quinta? 3.45. Is 3, no, la cuarta, la quinta, la quinta, es 2, 4, 5. 3.45. La quinta? La número cinco. This one. Three, it's three forty. Uh -huh, it's three forty. Three forty. Okay. In the next one, the last one. Three forty-five. Three forty-five. That's correct. Right. Okay. So three o'clock is three o five. It's three fifteen. Three thirty. Three forty and three forty-five. But this is the hora digital y lo más fácil. Okay. 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 3.15, 3.30, 3.40, 3.45. La otra forma es 3 o'clock, ok, uh -huh. eh, five, three, uh, it's three, 5 after 3, three, a quarter after 3, three, a quarter it's after three, 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 it's 20 to 4, and it's a quarter to 4. Ok, and this is the other one. Three and four is three, four. Okay. Three and four is to four. It's a quarter to four. It's a quarter to four. Mm -hmm. That's correct. It's a quarter to four. Yes, Esperanza. Yes. Teacher. 
Yes, Sam. Especificando hora en inglés. Or, 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 or. La posición de hora. Sí. Hour. Hour. Uh -huh. One hour. Yo, yo he escuchado a veces o, oh, or, así, or. Eh, eh, mi, mi lector de pantalla, eh, no, no me acuerdo en qué idioma lo tenía, pero me, a veces me pronuncia ours. No, es, es la pronunciación es ours. Eh, a veces quizás porque alguien tal vez escucha rápido, se escucha rápido, tal vez sea como ours. Pero es ours, right? Hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, no solo hours, right? You say four, four hours, three hours, five hours. hours, half five hours, six hours, six, uh, seven hours. Tal vez porque se escucha muy rápido, a veces se puede escuchar como hours, right? Pero se dice uh -huh. hours. No es seven hours, pero es en una velocidad que está muy rápida. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Thank no you. problem. Okay, good. Then it's half past two. It's 2.30 or it's half past two. Next, 20 to three. Quarter to three. I will give you the numbers and... That's where the times. Let's listen and repeat. Okay, these are phrases. Let's listen and repeat. Okay, when you say... In, in the morning. When you say in the morning is a.m., right? And when you say noon, p.m., este es el mediodía, noon, las 12 del mediodía, okay, noon. In the afternoon, después de este me del mediodía viene todo, es afternoon, por eso que se mire afternoon, después del noon, okay, afternoon. In the evening, ya digamos que es, eh, por ejemplo, cuando, cuando yo entro a clase o cuando entramos a clase, ¿qué decimos? Good evening. Good evening, ok. El good evening good, good es sure. el saludo de entrada. Y el good night es el saludo de salida. Good night, see you tomorrow. Ajá, Samuel. Ahora entiendo por qué es, por qué es afternoon. Es después del mediodía. Exacto. O, o, o podemos decir tarde, va Ajá. La traducción, que, porque nosotros usamos tarde, en la tarde, no en la tarde es en the afternoon, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero sí es después del mediodía, afternoon, en inglés. In the evening, es decir, buenas noches de llegada, y, en, y lo, digamos los tres momentos del día son, digamos, sería in the morning, in the afternoon, at night. En la mañana, en la tarde y en la noche. In the morning, in the afternoon, at night. In the morning, in the afternoon, at night. Ok. Ahí hay unos tiempos intermedios que sea el noon, el mediodía. Está the evening, que es cuando empieza a oscurecer hasta que nos vamos a dormir. Y midnight. Ok. Midnight, que es la medianoche. Noon, mediodía. Midnight, medianoche. ¿Ok? ¿Llegaste a la Sí. A.M. Noon. P.M. In the afternoon. P.M. In the evening. P.M. At night. P.M. Midnight. A.M. Let's uh, practice these time expressions now. Let's listen and repeat. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. Okay, so you see you have three different... It's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. What is 12? It's 12 p.m. It's noon. Uh, it's four o'clock in the afternoon, right? It's 4 p.m. It's seven o'clock. So this is in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. At night. It's 4 p.m. 
It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. PM. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. In this class, we've covered how to express the time in different ways. It's important that you learn all those different ways to express the time. What I would like for you to do now is to practice expressing the time in different ways. I'll write the expressions and you should work on expressing the time in a different way. For example, it's nine o'clock in the evening. Another way to express this is by saying it's 9 p.m. Now I would like for you to change this expression in a different way. It's eight o'clock in the morning. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's three in the afternoon. It's 3 a.m. It's 6 p.m. It's 4 p.m. It's 12 p.m. Okay. Now we're going to. Les voy a dejar acá como una tarea en el discussion box here. Déjame que no me deja. Doesn't let me see. Had a post. Okay, when I use the, the question is what? Lo voy a poner en mayúsculas para que vaya como tema. What time is it? Okay, this is what time is it? And then he's going to use here. Tell the time. Okay, digamos la hora, right? Tell the time. For example, it's 7 o'clock. It's 7 o'clock. It's at 10 after 6 okay it's 10 after 6 no i'm going to use no voy a mezclar palabras numbers i'm going to use 10 it's 10 after 6 okay 6 and 10 if you want you can add here pm Okay, uh, it's a quarter, like a particular quarter, quarter, it's a quarter to four. Okay, it's a quarter to four. And it is a, a quarter. After eleven, it's half past. Uh, let me see, half past. Uh, what twelve? Don't say Mary. Good. Escriban a tantas veces. Y horas como se les ocurran, la idea es practicar, right? Eh, to practice the las horas de diferentes formas, right? And then you can use it that way. Let me see, submit it. Uh, there you go. Of course, there is a topic. I still topic. What time is it? I said, tell me time. It's seven o'clock. It's then after 6 p.m., it's a quarter to four, it's a quarter after 11, it's half past 12. Y ahí practican el orden de las horas, la diferente forma de decirlo y la, eh, y la escritura, right? 
Ahí escriban todas las que se les ocurran. Y mañana las vemos, ¿ok? Ahí que es... Y mañana hay acá un ejercicio para escoger la hora, right? This is what we're going to do. Okay. And that's it. Okay, people. My goodness. Um, right, so we have nine o'clock. Okay, so we're going to stop here. Then you practice the time. And we will continue with this tomorrow, okay? So have a good night. Thank, Thank you, teacher. Okay, good teacher. Night. See you good next night, day. teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye